I am the world's youngest, most modified youth, at least for the moment. I always like different, different's cool, different's unique. More or less, I just kind of fell in love with the way it looks and how you feel when you walk down the street and you kind of get like a sense of empowerment. People like stop and they stare and they're like, whoa, look at that dude. And you're just like, hey, that's kind of, that's kind of neat. I like to be a standout kind of dude and draw some attention, turn some heads. A lot of people ask me how many tattoos on average I have. That question kind of irks me because once you start getting sleeves and linking your tattoos all up, there's no number of tattoos, it all just becomes one. I would say my body is about 75%, maybe 80% tattooed. I'd say on average, the amount of procedures I've had for body modification would be around like 40 for the more extreme kind of stuff. It's hard to put a number on it. It's not like I spent this much money on tattoos and body modification. A rough guess, like 15,000, maybe more than that, maybe. I'd say my body modification journey began when I was 11, when I first started stretching my ears. I got a lot of influence through like um, Aztec culture and stuff, through the scarification and stretching of the earlobes and whatnot. When I was there, yeah, about 16 to 17, when I started getting more extreme stuff done. Attention from the opposite gender, I tend to get quite a fair bit of it. Uh, believe it or not, looking how I am. Um, but yeah, I'm in a happy relationship. I've always known him with a lot of tattoos and I've always been attracted to him with a lot of tattoos. So that's just Ethan to me. My partner's very accepting of, uh, of what I've done or do to myself. Um, the one thing she hates though is when I get more face tattoos. But yeah, no, yeah, she's real, real chill about it. My main thing is I don't like the stitches in his mouth just because I'm personally afraid of clown demons. But <laughs> that's like my main thing I don't like. And this is me as a baby. I'm very little. He's not that little. I'm like two or three there. Oh, I mean, you're very cute. Thank you. And then... Uh, oh, yeah. How old are you here? Uh, Eleven-ish. Pretty cool. <laughs> Where would a tattoo so? You're Who dare? Like, such a normal child. I used to be a quite attractive, classically handsome male, some might say, before I did all this work. So it wasn't for attention, I just dig it. I've always had uh, yeah, different reactions from my relatives and friends and family and whatnot uh, from different stages of modification. When I got my eyeballs tattooed, my mum couldn't look at me for like a month without getting tears in her eyes. They've just kind of learned that, oh, he's going to do it anyway, so there's no point in trying to stop it or, or, or uh, resent him for it. Still the same person. Sometimes you get people walking past shaking their head you know, being a bit condescending. Yeah. Um, sometimes, on the rare occasion, you'll get uh, someone, you know, say something out loud that's not too nice uh, or a bit rude. You realise when you look like this that there's going to be certain downsides and not everyone's going to treat you like how they should. We're about to uh, head up to Rand's private studio, uh, get my hair cut and tattoo my head. That'll be fun. I'm happy with my look, obviously, because I've done it to myself. I don't have a limit on what he can and can't do. If he wants to get more procedures, cool. As long as they're aesthetically pleasing to me, I don't mind. In terms of my family, I think if you first bring a guy like Ethan home, um, people are a bit shocked. What's going on, buddy? How's it going? Oh, Come here, give us a hug. Oh, buddy. But as far as like strangers and their opinions, I don't, I don't really care what they think about him or our relationship. So this one here um, is a Black Dahlia, of course, it's f***ing awesome, it's a really cool murder case to read up on. So I was like, yeah, let's get it tattooed. You can with a pentagram carved into her forehead. Little signatures from a bunch of my artists who are friends. Nothing fills a gap for like a rose. Nah, I don't have any concerns, it'll be fine. It's a tattoo. 
I've had a few of them before. So what we're doing is just going to draw it on just the basics of it. It's a pretty simple sort of style of tattooing anyway, which will suit Ethan perfectly. <laughs> we're going to do like a little Grim Reaper, little character, which is kind of like, I don't know. I don't know if it's Ethan, but it's definitely childlike. So that's definitely Ethan-esque. <laughs> My most painful body modification procedure was probably my tongue split. Not so much the actual procedure itself, but the aftermath of about seven days of just like torment of not being able to talk, not being able to eat or drink water for like three or four days, laying in bed, my mouth just smelling like absolute death from a rotting healing tongue. So we're going to start tattooing you, you ready? I don't know if he's really ready. <laughs> the most expensive body modification procedure that you can pretty much have done are your eyeballs because it's such a high risk, high reward uh, situation because it can go wrong so easy and it can just send you blind. We're done. I am quite tired. It's always a pleasure letting Rand have a go at my head. Um, but yeah, we're done. Yay. Next to me, besides more tattoos, is probably putting silicon in my dick. Um, it's just putting silicon under the skin of your penis. So I just like bumpy things under my skin. Like they're just fun to play with. And eventually you're gonna stop tattooing, modifying your body because eventually you're gonna run out of things to do. You're gonna run out of space to get tattooed. Yeah, being different is cool. It's not nice to live your life in the shadows. So just kind of express yourself 100%. Do your thing. I'll never stop getting tattoos because I'm passionate about it and I end up eventually full black. I'll show you my favorite room. I'm really proud of this one because I built it and I've bought everything and this is my personal home gym. I've chosen to paint the wall in red because red gives you energy and stamina to, to go through your training. I'm fully covered from head to toe, literally. I have the sole of my feet, I have both of my palms, all of my genitals, things on my mouth. On my head, there is a snake with wings. Obviously, the sole has been made as well. Twice, but it doesn't want to hold, so to hold on, on, on the skin, because it's a really tough skin. It's like tattooed a rock, basically. I think people find it fascinating, actually. Not strange, they think I'm different. Human has a tendency to be cautious with things that they don't understand or that they don't know. I guess it's natural for them to judge me at first sight. I used to, to teach karate, judo and kobudo it was like 10 years ago, but I have keep training on a daily basis and I run after children in school, obviously. I'm half a school teacher, half a, like a comedian, professional model. At first, when they see me, children are afraid for some of them. The younger they are, the more afraid they will be. Uh, but, but then it goes away really fast. Uh, after a couple of minutes, they're okay. Actually, they're more surprised because I'm a male teacher. What I like the most about teaching is that you can mold this young mind and you can try to make them better person and to make them good adults and you can help them and help the world uh, being a better place. Bonjour. Bienvenue chez moi. 
Euh, en fait, euh, on avait été le voir à Londres avec euh, mon copain et quand il y travaillait. Et euh, il nous a emmenés dans un coin calme et, et euh, il m'a dit je t'avais parlé d'un projet et, et je vais te dire ce que c'est. Et là, il a remonté ses manches comme ça et il avait fait euh, les, deux, les deux bras, il avait commencé euh, le deuxième. Et du coup, euh, moi je me, je me rappelle même plus, c'est mon copain qui m'a dit euh, que quand il nous a montré ses bras, euh, je me suis assise euh, au fond du fauteuil, <rire> j'étais scotchée. Mais euh, après, euh, il nous a expliqué un peu euh, son, son point de vue sur les tatouages et euh, bah, j'ai trouvé ça chouette qu'il fasse euh, ce qu'il avait envie, euh, que ça lui plaise. At first, when I started getting tattooed, I wanted half of my body, the left one, to be a mix between old school and rock and roll, and the other half to be a, like a Japanese inspiration one. I have spent around 40,000, 45,000 euros maybe. Yeah, I've done most of the work in, in, a, in a four years uh, period. But I'll do a second layer and then a third one, because I'm, I'm passionate about tattoos and I never want to stop getting tattooed, getting covered. I have thought about getting my eyeballs tattooed, but it's too fresh as a process to be confident in it. It might go really well, but I might lose sight, and it's, it would be bad because I really like uh, video games and television. So. I am in the final episode of uh, Sense8. Lana Wachowski, the director, talked to me for like 10 minutes. She's the director of Matrix as well which was one of my favorite movies when I was a teenager. So it was quite an honor. So the next steps about my tattoos are to, well, first, Romain will end the leg. He will, he will, done, he will do all of the shades uh, from the, uh, the hip to the toes. And then he will add a bit of white on my arm and on my leg as well to enhance the muscles uh, effect. Then I'm thinking about doing my tongue black, like full black tongue. And I don't know, maybe I will add some lines on my belly. The more I get tattooed, the happier I get, so it's the most important thing. I'm 33 now, I, I stop taking care of what people think. If, if they think that I'm like handsome and uh, that it's cool, well, it's good, but I, I don't even hear the negative comments. If the people stare, and the people stare, I really don't know and I really don't care. Like a full black body and cover everything, it's, it's completely possible. It's a new challenge. I, I will do eventually, because uh, I don't want to stop getting tattooed, so layer after layer, I might be more than a hundred percent because you can always get tattooed, you can always add more ink above the ink you already have. When, when you're passionate about something, uh, it's never too much. You can, you can, if, if you are passionate about horse riding, you can never ride too much horses. Uh, and because I'm passionate about tattoos, as soon as it doesn't hurt me, as soon as it's, it's not bad for my health, well, I can keep going forever. Mais de mil tatuagens, oito ou nove modificação corporal. Eu não tenho arrependimento nenhum. Sou expositor de um próprio corpo como arte. Bom, meu nome é Marcelo de Souza Ribeiro. Hoje eu sou mais conhecido como Marcelo B-Boy. Quinze anos eu fiz a minha primeira tatuagem. Desde então eu, eu venho trabalhando com isso, fazendo tatuagem. Sou professor de dança também. A dança de rua. Eu era, sempre fui do hip hop. Então a primeira tatuagem que eu fiz foi 
a escrita hip hop mesmo. Nesse braço eu fiz o nome do, da minha filha, tampa o corpo todo. Eu fui falar, ah, não, mãe, eu vou fazer de pouco em pouco. Então, hoje eu estimulo mais de mil tatuagens. 97, 96% do corpo tatuado. Sim, as modificações corporais eu tenho questão de umas 8 ou 9. Eu tenho tem uns implantes, né, que é de silicone. Aí tenho os olhos também. As orelhas. Os dentes, a língua. Aí eu tô no processo, tô fazendo elas ainda, né? Querendo fazer tudo de azul. Meu pai e minha mãe sempre foi de boa com isso. Eu sou pai também, eu tenho um, um filho de 6 anos, tenho uma filha de 16, tenho um neto de 8 meses também. Muita pessoa que fala assim, ah, mas... Seus filhos, eles não têm medo de você, não, por causa que eles já cresceram comigo desse jeito. Eu tenho um passinho pequeno, mas tem, né? Eu quero futuramente é, fazer algumas tatuagens para cobrir mais um pouco, né? Na questão do, do, do gasto, a maioria foi eu mesmo que fiz. Tanto a questão do olho, língua... Tatuou seu próprio olho? Eu mesmo, tatuei Tem meu um próprio espelho. olho. Conta essa história. Sim. Aí um dia eu tava em casa, entrei no, no, no banheiro, olhei pro espelho, peguei a seringa, peguei a tinta, aí eu consegui fazer uma perfuração. Aí eu injetei um pouco de tinta. E deu sete horas da noite, já tinha... Tomado o globo ocular todo. A tinta já tinha espalhado toda. A última modificação que, que eu fiz é nos dentes. Atrapalha beijar, não? Normal. <risos> não, um, é, um beijo não atrapalha, tanto que o que chamou a atenção... <risos> A atenção da, da Lilia, quando a gente começou a conversar no, no, na internet, foi como seria beijar com, com a, o, os dentes alongados, né? Meu nome é Lilian, tenho 31 anos. Aí eu fui buscar ele no rodoviário e parecia que já se conhecia há muito tempo. Bom, sobre as modificações, tatuagens e tudo que ele tem, eu creio que o ser humano não tem limites, né? Eu não incentivo ninguém a nada. Foi vontade dele, ele falou comigo que tinha vontade de fazer, eu... faz. Outras pessoas me criticam, porque, ah, que essa menina normalzinha, tão bonita e tal, fazendo com cara desse. E eu não aceito. Eu aceito que você não goste, só que você, você não respeitar já são outros 500, né? A minha mãe é, sabe dele, quer conhecer, mas a minha avó vai ser o, é o pior passo. Eu sempre quis fazer o Iabol, desde muito nova. E eu conheci ele através do Instagram. Não, não é um procedimento doloroso, porque ele usa um colírio anestésico também, então a gente não sente nada, nada, nada. A minha mãe, <risos> tadinha, a minha mãe chorou no, na primeira vez que ela me viu, mas depois ela acostumou, falou também que era tudo questão de costume. Eu gosto de ser diferente das pessoas, eu acho todo mundo muito igual, tudo muito, muito padrão. Sabe, eu não gosto desses padrões. Eu gosto do diferencial. Eu acho que as pessoas, assim, elas têm o interesse de chegar, de conversar, saber se é de verdade, mas elas têm um pouco de receio, elas têm um pouco de... Eu acho, assim, um pouco de vergonha. Aqui é, é mais rico, é mais rico. 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 É mais r
Meus anos, assim, que ele tá tendo, eu nunca tinha visto uma pessoa com tatuagem até no olho. É bem diferente. Caralho, é muito Corajoso. Corajoso e audacioso, porque tem que ter muito peito pra fazer isso aí. Eu nunca vi alguém assim com essa quantidade de tatuagem. A coisa que eu, que eu sei dizer ao certo, assim, é que ele é um ser humano maravilhoso. Os amigos falam isso, pessoas da família também. Falam o quão um ser humano é bom ele é. Tipo assim, uma pessoa de coração grande, uma pessoa que trata todo mundo super bem. Eu acho que é isso que desfoca o preconceito que as pessoas têm em relação a ele. Muita pessoa pensa isso, que... Eu, eu tô cometendo um pecado, que quando eu morrer eu não vou pro céu, parece demônios. Mas pra mim é de boa, isso não me incomoda com nada, não. Tranquilo com isso. Eu não arrependo, não arrependo, eu gosto delas. E se fosse pra me voltar, eu faria tudo de novo, nenhuma exceção. Eu faria tudo, tudo que eu fiz, tudo que eu vivi. Eu queria viver tudo de novo. I love being a clown. I'm always gonna be a clown. And that's just, that's what I, that's what I love. That's what I believe in, you know? Back on to the show, everyone. If I, if I live my life how other people want to live, I want to be who I am. What up, what up, what up, what up? I'm Richie the Baba. <laughs> ah! I'm a permanent tattoo clown, y'all, mother flowers. Like, I've been a clown body modification-wise for over 10 years now. What I enjoy about the lifestyle of a clown is that I can be silly, I can smile, I can, I can laugh, I can juggle, I can fall. It's just, it's just a party. I like to live my life as fun and exciting and a journey and adventure. Look at different business cards. They're posted. <laughs> yeah. Call me, please. When you have a business, you have to promote yourself. You know, you have to promote yourself in different ways, and you have to stand out a lot. So when I see somebody that's like, you know, I don't know, maybe they're famous, you know? They're like, hey, you got a business card clown? I'll be like, okay, cool. When you open this, it's a gigantic poster of this. You know what I mean? But it's in a present. I'm like, oh yeah, open it up, right? It's a huge, huge poster. It's gigantic, and then they can't even, they gotta take it with them, you know? Everybody always asks me, why, why, why did you become a clown? Why? My grandfather took me to the circus, Barley and Bailey's Ringling Circus. We went backstage, I saw this clown on a bucket with his back towards me. I creeped up to him, he turned around, he's all, shh, don't be scared. You like clowns? He started juggling, and I was fascinated by this clown. I'm like, what, what is this clown, you know what I mean? I saw happiness from a clown. I saw, like, joy, just being goofy. A lot of people are serious and it's like, you know, why, why are you so serious about life? Why don't we just like, you know, laugh, smile, you know, like just be whoever you want to be. That's what I saw from the clown. So I got silicone implants underneath my skin to make the clown ridge pop out more. My smile down because I like to smile. My clown nose. Yeah. Also my tongue split. Right here it says Love Light Energy. I got my barber pole. I got roses because for my grandma, because she had a rose garden. I got love in my eyebrow because I love, I love everything. I love people, I love life. Umbrellas to catch my tears. You know, when times are tough. The third eye, consciousness, awareness, is not the Illuminati. I got LA, you know, a little skyline because I, I love Los Angeles, baby. The most painful, I'd say, around my eyes, the nose, because like you, you sneeze a lot. The vibration of the nose, it's just very, it's not pleasant. The forehead, you know what I mean? Like the eyebrows, I mean pretty much all the face is, is really painful. I love cutting hair, you know? And there are, there are people out there that, you know, they love the experience, it's something different, you know? When you come to the barbershop, the clown museum here, you get yourself some whiskey, get some, some beers, drink with the, the pinky out. 
I'm no Brad Pitt here, you know? Like, not all these women are gonna, not all women like clowns, but what they do like, I think, is, you know, personality. I got my best friend, George, woo! Look at George, he lives in my hat, ooh, yeah! You know, I feed him every once in a while, you know? I've had many, many girlfriends leave me for tattoos, but that's not gonna stop me from doing what I'm gonna do, what I wanna do, you know? I live my life. I do it the way I want to do it. <laughs> my way or the highway, baby. What the heck? <laughs> so, baby, come on in, baby. What up? If someone doesn't accept me, they don't accept me, you know. But the one, my friends right now, they really accept me, and they they love me. They they support me. Take a seat. Take a seat. Come on. Hey, Chris. How do you feel about me being a clown? I just feel like I've had so many real moments with you where it hasn't been a factor. Does this mean you're looking into my eyes? Yes. You look into my soul? Yeah, he does wear this outfit most of the time, but he wears a, a hoodie and, you know, normal pants sometimes. Yeah, sometimes I do. I put the hoodie on. Whoop. Yeah, sometimes he doesn't want to be noticed. <laughs> which is rare, but sometimes. Yeah. What I like so much about being a barber is uh, it, it's all about the customers that come in and it's, you get to meet new people all the time and different experience in their lives and transforming them. Hey, it's okay to laugh here, it's all right? It's okay to laugh, it's okay to cry, it's okay to fart, whatever you want, you know? Have fun. It's the freak show. It's the freak show, baby. <laughs> Woo, where's my bell at? <laughs> there it is, there it is. I, sometimes I climb around too far. And uh, yeah, people are just like, yo bro, I, I gotta, I get, can you just hurry this up? It's hard for me to, to like talk and cut hair. So th therefore the haircuts take for like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm almost done, I swear, I'm almost done. Don't worry, I'm almost done. What do you think, Daniel? What do you think about this? pretty sassy except for in the back. I like the sassy. Yeah. Don't talk about the back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's good, it's good, real good. Danielle? Very sassy. 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 Damn it! <laughs> so my, my daughter, she'll be 13 this year. We don't really talk about it. Like, we haven't talked about it. You know, we just, it's just, I'm her dad, you know? That's, this is my dad, you know? It's either gonna be black or white. She's either gonna be like, I don't, I don't love my dad, I don't wanna be around my dad, he embarrasses me in the future. Or she'll be like, that's my dad. I love him, thanks, you know. I've never regretted any of my face tattoos because it's a lifestyle. I love being a clown, I am a clown, I'm a clown for life. It's not just like, I'm a tattoo clown, I just look like a tattoo clown. No, I'm on the unicycle, I'm juggling, I'm throwing confetti, I'm doing magic tricks, I'm doing, it's a whole, it's a whole lifestyle, it's a whole, it's a whole world that I, that I created. For all you clowns out there, all the advice, what I recommend is have fun being a clown. It's fun. Clown around. <laughs>